that by 2025, 60% of the world's land mass would be experiencing water scarcity problems. I later learned from another U.S. government report that said that by 2025, 40 of our 50 U.S. states will be experiencing water scarcity. Now, leaving that seminar, I had two reactions. And I suspect, given that this is a JNF audience, I suspect that many of you might have had the same reaction. My first reaction was, hey, I'm a pretty well-informed citizen. How come I never heard about this before? By the time the word crisis gets in the sentence, I should have known about this, but I didn't. And the second thought I had was, as a fairly frequent visitor to Israel, was what is this going to mean for Israel? I knew a lot about Israel's politics, its history, its security situation. But what I didn't know, what I found out in the coming days, was that Israel, despite the fact that it's 60% desert and the rest of the country is semi-arid, that Israel has the world's most sophisticated water system. Now, for those of you who are JNF veterans, probably many of you already knew that. But for me, it was remarkable. So juxtaposing two remarkable things at once. First is hearing that we're descending into a global water crisis and realizing that our leaders are not aware of it, and if they are aware of it, they're not doing much about it. And on the other hand, learning that Israel has the world's most sophisticated water management system, I said, this is totally remarkable. It's a problem, but it's a problem with a solution. There's a role model for the world to follow, but here's the problem. Nobody knows it exists. Nobody knows it's there. And I say nobody. Obviously, again, some of the people in this room know about it, but not enough people know about it. 